presentation. I'm delighted that I have you here today. And uh, let me just first uh, inform you that uh, today's event uh, is being filmed for the further promotional purposes. So uh, I just wanted to let you know this uh, in the case uh, for the later promotion. So uh, please be aware of that. Uh, in addition, I would like to uh, kindly ask you to uh, put your questions in the chat room if you will have questions uh, throughout uh, our presentation. Nevertheless, the main uh, part of, of our meeting today uh, and will be at the end of the day, at the end of this presentation, when you will be free to uh, ask any questions regarding uh, our program, uh, studying at our university and so on. So once again, uh, thank you for participating and uh, let me just briefly uh, introduce myself. My name is Alexander Aristonik. I'm coming from University of Ljubljana, Faculty of Public Administration, and I'm professor at Faculty of Public Administration for the area of economics. So we will meet uh, in terms of economic uh, courses uh, when, if you will decide to join our uh, faculty and our program, of course, today's focus in on our master's degree program, uh, administration, uh, public sector governance. So let me just briefly present our university and especially our faculty. Our faculty of public administration is for sure leading uh, institution in terms of education and also uh, research uh, area uh, in the field of public administration. So if you will join us, you will show, uh, you will join to the best institution uh, in Slovenia in this field. So uh, for sure, uh, your choice, choice will be the right choice. Uh, what is our main advantage? Uh, we believe that main advantage is our multidisciplinary approach. So we are studying courses related to the administration, law, organization, management, informatics, and also economics. So you will learn a variety of uh, courses related and you will um, get competencies in different uh, aspects of uh, public administration. So our institution is quite, let's say, uh, is now already mature, 65 years old. So uh, we were established in 1956. However, university has been uh, established uh, more than 100 years ago. So uh, we have a long tradition with university. However, inside the university, uh, we are members since 1975, and we are, let's say, quite uh, now quite mature member uh, with 60 years, 65 years old uh, institution. Uh, we, we have approximately now around 1,000 students, so we are not very small institution inside university. The university has around 40,000 uh, students, and of course, it's situated in Ljubljana, the capital of uh, Slovenia. So uh, this is um, some uh, facts. And of course, our institution is quite modern. Uh, it has around 20 years, but nevertheless, it's very well maintained. And you will find every, everything and, uh, uh, at our institution. You can see here our building, uh, which is, uh, uh, even though it's uh, around 20 years old, it is still very well maintained. And it's uh, one of the new institutions uh, inside the University of Ljubljana. Uh, so there is also campus nearby uh, Faculty of Economics and other uh, institutions, Faculty of Social Science, and so on. What's very important to emphasize is that the program you are interested in now is, is having uh, a APA accreditation. That means European Association of Public Administration Accreditation. That means that this program is a high quality program and uh, can, can be compared with the best programs of public administration inside uh, the European Union. So uh, we have a lot of cooperations with uh, foreign institutions inside Europe, uh, outside Europe, with the United States, also with the China. So uh, we, we offer our students a wide range of uh, possibilities to uh, have exchanges. And as, as you can see, we usually welcome 40 
uh, foreign students and also our students go outside to this institution. So uh, we are well uh, involved in this international aspect of, uh, of education. Moreover, we have quite a few uh, summer schools where our students, uh, undergraduate and also graduate students from also this program are uh, taking part, for, for example, in Iceland and also in some other parts of uh, Europe. So they are welcome to join these uh, summer schools and they also uh, can obtain some uh, credit points uh, uh, throughout the studying. We, have, we are very proud to our uh, Central European Public Administration Review, which is a very important, uh, uh, very important journal in, uh, in, uh, in the field of public administration. It is also indexed in some uh, uh, recognized uh, databases. And also uh, it is very helpful for our students uh, because uh, we publish here updated researches uh, related to the uh, uh, public administration in Slovenia and also uh, uh, in international aspects of public administration. We have also developed consulting and training center for public administration employees. And we are very well known also for our scientific research. Uh, we have quite a few international also uh, domestic projects, research projects related to the all uh, <clears throat> sub areas of public administration and also all fields under public administration like administrative law, uh, human resource management, e-government and so on. So uh, this is briefly about our uh, institution. However, our main focus today is about our master's degree program. And this is the only program we have in English. And we are proud that we uh, started with this program uh, recently in also in fully in English uh, language. And uh, as I mentioned, this is the title of the program is Administration Public Sector Governance. So you will obtain competencies uh, in understanding how, pub how to govern public sector uh, from different aspects. The duration of this program is uh, normally two years, of course, to finish all the necessary obligations. However, then it's additional year for finishing your master thesis. You will uh, totally obtain 120 uh, credit points. And after finishing, you will receive the title uh, Masters of Administration Science. Of course, in Slovene, you will get it like master, uh, Magister, Magistrica Pravnih Vet. Why study our program? Why I already mentioned some uh, some really big advantages and some specialities about this program. As it was already mentioned, this program is only program in Slovenia related in the field of public administration, which is uh, which has European accreditation. So we are very proud uh, to have this European accreditation for this program, and we are also part of the so-called European Masters of Public Administration Consortium. So this uh, consortium offers our students that they study at the best universities and best programs in the field of public administration around Europe, like in uh, Leuven, uh, we have also uh, in Rotterdam, uh, also in, uh, in uh, Bocconi in Milan and so on. So there are many uh, institutions involved in this uh, network and of course our students has advantage to study uh, at least one semester at these highly profile institutions and recognized institutions uh, in the field of public administration. The, this is the first thing which I had to uh, uh, set out. The second thing you've scored which was already mentioned also is this interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approach to our study. You will get knowledge related to the law, organization, management, politics, sociology, informatics, economics. So you will be equipped with all this knowledge. So and you will be uh, very competitive uh, on the labor market. Uh, you will also get knowledge to work at any level in public administration at national, regional or local level and also in the EU institutions, especially because in the second year of this program, we have quite a few focuses on the European institution and European governance. We have also very individual approach uh, since uh, there are, let's say, less than 20 students in this program. So then we have really uh, individual approach and uh, which is expressed also in high quality of this program. So uh, 
I have to also mention that this program is fully in English. So this, there is no um, hybrid versions of two, three languages. So it's only the English version of this uh, program. Furthermore, how, of course, you are interested how, uh, how to um, proceed with application for this program. The application is, is only through the online system. So university has own online system where there is online portal. And if you are an EU citizen, uh, then uh, the date is, the deadline is September 15. If you are outside the EU and uh, you, are, you are not, or Slovenes without Slovenian citizenship, uh, the deadline is much closer. That is 31st of July. Uh, information that we have to today's, as you can uh, see, uh, so today is 26th of May, and uh, the semester starts on 1st of October. And I must emphasize, even though I mentioned, of course, our institution is in Ljubljana, we are part of University of Ljubljana, and uh, our location is in Ljubljana, our campus is in uh, Ljubljana. However, due to these uh, COVID circumstances, uh, we decided that the forthcoming uh, academic year 2021-22 will be uh, completely in online form so you will be able to study online nevertheless that doesn't mean that if you in, you will be in Ljubljana that doesn't uh, mean that you cannot come to consult consultations uh, to the professors to meet with other students uh, in the teamwork and so on so uh, but in any case, uh, for due to all these circumstances in recent uh, year and a half, uh, we decided to uh, have completely online form of uh, studying of this program in, of course, in English language. As far as uh, credit points uh, concerns, you will uh, achieve a uh, half of credit points in the first year, half of credit points in the second year. So uh, 60 first year, 67 year, uh, second year. However, in the second year, 40 credit points uh, are um, derived from the uh, exams, 20 uh, credit points from uh, final thesis. Uh, about the tuition fee, so if you are EU citizen, no tuition fee applies for you. However, for candidates who come outside the EU countries, there is tuition fee uh, for academic year, it's 3000 euros. So uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is usually normal uh, in European countries to have tuition fee. And uh, about the enrollment, uh, of course, you have to finish first cycle study program, any first, type, uh, first cycle study program, uh, obtaining 180 credit points or some equivalent education abroad. So this would be then on the individual basis uh, decided if this uh, education is equivalent. So and all additional information you can get in our very uh, highly uh, responsive and uh, um, administrative staff uh, so from the student office and you will get it this really quickly if you will need it. So please uh, use this email. About the enrollment, also, as I already mentioned, their complete enrollment application is by the online system. Uh, so there is a web portal where you, where you will uh, put all the documentation re uh, related also to the scanning of your diploma, diploma supplements, then also chronology about your uh, education, your ID, and so on. So all this uh, you have to um, upload in, into the system and all these documents should be in any of uh, languages like English, Croatian, Serbian and uh, and must be in Latin so no other version of uh, uh, text will be accepted. So uh, this is related to the uh, to the enrollment application please if you have any questions just feel free to ask. About the enrollment slots, there are of course limitations, and so please be do hurry. Uh, so we have 120 uh, slots for full-time uh, students and 40 slots for the part-time part-time students. Of course, this is for the 
for the uh, Slovenian version, for the for the other version, of course. Uh, so for the English, uh, there should be at least five candidates. There should be at least five students that we will implement this program. And uh, we have for the students who are outside the EU, uh, we have 24 uh, uh, slots and 20 slots uh, for the full time and uh, 20 slots for the part time. So uh, please uh, do take this into consideration uh, when applying about the structure of the program. As I already mentioned, it is very multidisciplinary uh, oriented. In the first year, you have courses related to the so economic courses like economic analysis in public administration, and you have also law courses, uh, so administrative procedure law. Then you have courses related to the to the human resource management, like leadership in public administration, uh, or course administration courses like uh, contemporary public administration. You will also uh, get some knowledge related to the research methods, which are in the social science, which are basic for your uh, for preparing seminar works and also your final master thesis. And of course, there is also compulsory elective uh, courses in double uh, form. So you have these compulsory elective uh, courses, as you can see here. So uh, more management oriented is one double, then uh, more human resources and uh, information governance in the second. Uh, second option, second double, and the third double is related to the maybe more law and uh, irregional uh, governance. And so uh, these are uh, different options which you can choose. So there is also a possibility already to choose some uh, courses which you like more for your, let's say, your career. So uh, first, second, or third uh, double option. And of course, uh, this is then included in this first year. Uh, we said that you will obtain 60 credit points in the first year. In the second year, uh, there are two uh, compulsory uh, courses, personal development seminar, and of course, master thesis at the end. However, uh, there are uh, in this model, which is uh, in English, so model uh, related to the public governance in the European Union, this model is uh, focused so on public policy analysis, sustainable development, European public finance. You will get also knowledge about methods, techniques, information tools. And uh, all these uh, courses are focused also on the European dimension. You also can choose two additional, um, I think uh, you have to choose two additional courses, elective courses. And here is a set of these courses, as you can see here, and uh, most of these courses, some of these courses are related also to the European Union, some are more related to the organization or management uh, and so on. So you are really uh, free to choose uh, your best option for your uh, professional career later when you will finish the master thesis. Of course, the students are for us very important stakeholders and uh, we are very uh, happy that we have uh, excellent uh, responses uh, from uh, their uh, their views and we can see for example here is uh, from our uh, student uh, uh, gregor rudolf who uh, exposed that he highly recommends this uh, 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 he is now i think he's finishing second year now and he highly recommends this uh, this program according to his experiences in the recent two years and we have also, of course, we wanted we want to show you also some experience from some other uh, students, uh, foreign students. And of course, we have now here uh, two students. One student, uh, Alexander Jovanovic from Serbia, he will give uh, his statement, and later then also Sara Amalbesic from Bosnia Herzegovina. So I will now uh, present you their views that you will have some impression uh, directly from the students uh, how they see this program. So let me now just share this video with you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alexander. I am a 
I'm second semester student of the public sector governance master's program at the faculty of administration. jobs, your own side projects, let's say. Um, and I think this was very um, useful for master's level students. Um, the quality of the courses too, of the lecturers, of the textbooks they use, um, I was really able to learn a lot. And I guess the most important thing is that everybody was very open to cooperate with you. If you had a problem or question, if you were coming into public administration from a different field, such as me, for example, um, the professors are really ready to, to give you additional information, additional knowledge, et cetera. Um, and also everybody had a lot of understanding for what the students have been going through due to the whole COVID pandemic. Um, so all in all, I was very, very impressed by what I got here. And I guess to sum the whole program up, I would say flexibility and quality would be the main two words that I would use at this point. So maybe we'll see each other next year. Okay, so this was our first uh, student. Now I will uh, share also with you know, of our second second student. So uh, as it was mentioned from Sara Amal. and I'm a student of the first year for Master's Studies Public Administration. My educational background was probably different than my current studies, but it did not create an obstacle for me to proceed with my education. So my future colleagues, if you're facing the very same doubts, fear, or an issue, don't. You will be just fine. The main reason why I chose this program was because I wanted to learn all about government, digitalization, public administration, procedures, everything that is related to the public sector. Regarding the COVID-19 situation, unfortunately, we did not have this experience in the classroom, but our online classes and education and knowledge was on the very same level with the quality as well. So my future colleagues, I would like also to share with you that our professors are very welcoming and always ready to help and assist the very same is for the university staff as well. I would like to invite you to join us to our university, not to be afraid of something new or something unknown, because you will gain so much knowledge, so much experience, that it will help you with your professional development in the future, especially if you decide to stay within the public sector. Okay, so this was uh, the impressions from our uh, students. And now, of course, it's your turn to give us questions or any issues, any remarks, any concerns, and we will be really uh, happy to give you our response. So please feel free to ask. So do we have any questions? Of course, if you not have questions at this particular moment, you are kindly welcome to send your question, your concern, your remark, or any other issue to our kind and responsive administrative staff uh, in 
student office on the mail Podiplomsky Afna at you. So please do send your email and they will give you all the necessary information for your further steps to join our program. So if there is no questions, then I would like to thank you all for participating at this event. And of course, I hope to see you in the next autumn at our university. So thank you and see you soon.